Oh my God. I just got an email to say, I'm gonna be part of the Clomana breast cancer awareness campaign makeup thing. I feel like so many different things right now. I literally grabbed my camera <laughs> as soon as I saw this email because if you didn't know, my dad passed away of cancer when I was 18 years old. And I also have heard like grandparents that passed away of cancer as well. So unfortunately I'm too familiar with it. And I've also set a goal for myself to be part of a makeup campaign. Um, I've applied to various different ones before, like um, the Jordana Tisha one. Um, I also applied for the Claudia Killsby one, uh, which was a body lotion, and I've not heard back from any of them, which is just the way sometimes. Um, but I've always known I wanted to be in a makeup campaign and to be in this one, like in association in association sorry with breast cancer awareness it just feels so like right like too perfect i'm so excited oh my god okay so i'm literally in shock right now i'm so sorry if i'm not making much sense but i literally just grabbed my camera and was like oh my god this i have to document this i have to document this so they've sent through a brief um so it's like what we wear and stuff so i've got to have a white top blue jeans um it's on tuesday the 24th of september um in manchester it's at this really cute like content studio so they've obviously hired it for the day um, and you get a two hour slot. So I've like selected um, my two hour slot. I'm gonna do it four till six. I've booked the day off work. I've just like requested it and oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is like my dream come true. Just shows, doesn't it? Like, don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep posting and like believe in yourself. Ah, oh, I just hope my dad would be proud of me. Cause I miss him. I miss him a lot. But I just feel so right. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna check back in with you when I'm like not crying. <laughs> um, cause I feel like so many emotions. I feel happy, excited nervous like overwhelmed like proud of myself so many different emotions so i'm gonna check back in with you um it's like the week before the photo shoot right now um so it's like fairly last minute but um yeah i'm gonna need to like prep get my nails done i'm gonna take you through the whole thing so Stay tuned for probably the most exciting thing that's happened to me yet in my little makeup journey. <laughs> Hello, so it is now Monday, the day before the photo shoot. I've just finished work and we're going to get our nails done. I really want my nails to just like be the vibe of the shoot, especially because I don't like these. If I had some nails on that I really liked, I would obviously leave them, but I just don't like these. The tips look so strange. Um, so we're gonna go get our nails done. And obviously I've not got a nail tech appointment. Um, I have found a nail tech that I really like, but obviously I can't get in with her like last minute. You have to book all of your appointments. So we're just gonna go to the nail shop, to be honest. So yeah, I'm feeling much better than when I last spoke to you. <laughs> um, like really, really excited now it's the day before so i'm gonna go home and like pack or get my bits together but first let's get these nails sorted okay it's the night before update here are the nails i just went for like french so these are the finished nails i love them 
this is what I should have gone for originally, to be honest. I don't know what made me go for like those weird tips. If you saw my TikTok, then you'll know what happened. But yeah, I love them. I feel like just really confident in them. I don't know why nails gives me so much confidence, but they do. So I put my heatless color in. I've got my PJs on. I've had almost like a little pamper night actually. So I've demo planed my face, put some nice skincare on. Uh, I did my tan last night. Um, so yeah, it's been a good evening. I'm feeling prepped. I'm feeling ready. I'm already like feeling good within myself because I've had a little bit of time for myself tonight just to prep and make myself feel good. Um, I've laid out like my outfit for tomorrow, packed some bits because from doing photo shoots for like my work. So where I used to work at a skincare company and even the place I work now we do photo shoots so I'm always used to taking like extra bits for photo shoots so I've got like sewing kit, extra tops, spare jeans, makeup bag, like a little hair care bag as well so everything's packed, everything's ready, the only thing left to do is to get ready tomorrow, travel up to Manchester and do it. I'm actually feeling so excited so can't wait to bring you along with me. I'm gonna get some beauty sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Hello, it's shoot day, whoop whoop. I'm so excited. I don't actually feel nervous at the minute, just excited. So that's really good. I probably will feel a bit more nervous when it gets nearer the time. It's currently half 11. I'm just doing my makeup. The skin is skinning. I've not powdered yet though. Um, So I'm just in the middle of doing that. I still need to do like my eyebrows, eyes, lips, etc., and my powder. Um, but I'm just getting ready. I'm just filming a TikTok. Ta-da! This is what I look at when I'm filming. So if you want to see a get ready with me for today, then go over to my TikTok. But I did my hair, not gonna lie, I could not film whilst doing my hair. I'm not a hair girl at all, like it annoys me. This took me probably like 20 minutes. So I've done a slick pony because I feel like it's very clean and like I don't know, just like Klieger vibes. And that's the vibe of the shoot if you see the brief. And then I've just done like a little wraparound bit at the top, but I've got like a few bumps at the back, which is annoying. I'm just not a hair person, like I'm trying my best, but I can't get rid of the bumps. So the bumps can have to stay, but from the front it looks okay. And I did my heatless curler as you saw last night. They are dropping pretty quick though, to be honest. So that's not ideal. But what I'm going to do is take my curler so I can always top them up later. But the shoot is until four. It's four till six, my slot. They have like different two hour slots throughout the day. So yeah, but I'm going to catch up with you once I finish my makeup and probably when I'm on the way. Okay, I've literally tried every single angle in this car and this is the best one. Um, I know you're on a wonk, I'm sorry, I can't do anything. So we're just going to speak like this for a minute. But I've just stopped for a little Starbucks, I thought treat yourself, like make it a day out. Um, so I got the pumpkin, no the iced pumpkin spice latte. This is the first pumpkin iced latte or spice latte whatever um, of the season of 2024. So I got it with oat milk and no cream. So, let's give it a go. I haven't actually tried it yet. I've taken about a thousand photos of it. <laughs> but let's actually try it together. Oh, that's very pumpkin-y. Very spicy. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that'll go down like a tree. And it's actually quite warm. It's like... Oh, I could move these cups out of the way. Got so many cups. Um, it's actually, yeah, quite humid. Although it's cloudy, it's like a bit muggy in a way. So very nice, very handsome. So I'm going to get back on the road. I honestly feel so like grateful to be driving to Manchester in this car. It's so bizarre. Like my life has changed so much like in the past year. I never thought I'd be sitting in this car in my little Mercedes. It just feels so surreal. Like I'm so grateful to be sat here doing this in this car. It feels like I'm in first class. It's weird. It's so, such a nice feeling. I'm so grateful. So let's carry on anyway. Also, I'm listening to the girls bathroom, their podcast. Is anyone actually going to see the girls bathroom? Let me know. 
um because actually on tour at the minute i'm going to the one in nottingham um so i'm really really excited my hoodie came the other day so i'm very, very excited just getting in the spirit of things listening to their podcast but yeah anyway i'm gonna stop banging on and i'm gonna get going i just made it not gonna lie i was like am i even in the right place like this is such a weird place to have a shop in a way um but i'm here oh my god there's a huge <laughs> bad bee like box that is so cool i'm gonna have to show you i can't spend long here have i even told you where i am i don't even know if i've told you where i am i'm at p louise the p louise empire i thought i've got a bit of extra time i've always wanted to come here this opened up right when i moved from manchester because i used to live in manchester i now live in nottingham but this opened as i was moving and i never got the chance to come so i've wanted to come for a long while and i thought this is the perfect opportunity so i've arrived here sorry if i didn't tell you that hopefully i can vlog let's um go inside Well, they said it's quiet, but this is like busy to me. But they have like this little train. I think this is new. It's so cute. I love it here. Oh my god, how dreamy would it be if I saw Peter Louise? <laughs> but it's cute here. I love it. These two look so, so nice. I love the colour palette of this. This is quite different. I love that. very very fun oh bright am i back to normal now i think so um that was very very fun um so i'm now gonna head off to my shoot i didn't ask you about anything i literally popped in had a wee <laughs> looked around but it was nice i would definitely like to go there with someone who loves makeup because by yourself you just kind of wander around and you're like trying not to get in the way of kids and stuff so it'd be nice to have a little swatch also look her lamborghini's here She's very smart, very demure. Actually, she's not very demure. She's very bold. But I love it. It's so nice. Okay, so I've got enough time to now get to the content place. So let's head on over there. I just got here. Everyone's out there. It's so chill. Like, everyone's just chilling. It's not, like, rushy. There's no one, like, you know, stressing. It is so chill. So I love that. I'm just about to get changed. So they requested that we wore blue jeans and a white top. So these are obviously my blue jeans. I've got like a vest thing, but then I think I'm actually gonna wear this because I feel like more confident in this. So I think we're gonna go for that. I'm gonna try and film as much as I can, but yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> you know, So again, very playful. So big fans, move around with the lot of sponges. Yeah. Alright, alright. Look at me, everyone, please. Beautiful. Oh. 
Can we do one where we're almost interacting so you guys are almost talking to I have just come out. It is about six o'clock. I am ecstatic. I'm so happy with like how that went. Um, I just had to put a jumper on because I'm chilly. Um, lucky I bought one. But I'm so happy with how that went. Like everyone was so nice as well. And hearing like the other girls' stories, there was three of us. It was amazing. And it was just like, it was like emotional at times. And we were like laughing. There was just like so much to it, but I'm so glad I did it. It was such a nice experience and everyone from the brand was really lovely. So I can't wait to see like how it all turns out. But yeah, very, very excited. And just like feel so grateful, so grateful for the opportunity. Everyone was so pretty as well. I was like, wow. But the vlog is not over yet because we're actually going into Manchester. I thought whilst I'm here, um, I'm gonna grab some food and also I wanna go to Selfridges because I have a voucher to spend. So I wanna see if there's anything there that I can get. I wanna go and have a look at skims specifically and the makeup, obviously. So we're gonna go into Manchester now and see where the evening takes us. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna get some food, go to Selfridges and drive home. Okay, change of plan. Well, not change, but the parking place I always used to park at, they've put some high-rise buildings there. <laughs> this is the place. If any of you know it in Manchester, near Anko. So I've just had to park on the road near a pay and display, hoping the car is gonna be okay, but um, it's fine. I also need to take my contact lenses out because they are so dry after today. Sorry if this creeps any of you out. Whew. That is better. Okay, glasses on, let's go. I'm gonna be so honest, I feel like so sick. Like I've got a massive knot, on my, knot in my stomach. And I actually thought I'd feel more like this before the shoot. I think before the shoot I was like on the go, like I just got ready and it was all like kind of go, go, go. But now I've done it. Ooh. But now I've done it, I don't know, I just feel like, oh, running hard. Ah, oh, you go, Glen Coco. Whoa, that is massive. How many people is that? Whoa. You healthy queens. Anyway. Oh, here we go, finally. Right, we've got to tackle the runners. Bloody Nora. Oh my dear lord, I'm gonna get in a stampede. Ah, sorry. <laughs> oh God. Okay, right, <laughs> stampede over. But I feel like a massive knot, it's like, I want to eat whilst I'm here, but right now I don't. I think maybe just like overwhelmed. I don't know. I really enjoyed it though. Like there was actually nothing to feel nervous about and it's weird I feel like this afterwards. Oh my God, there's another one. <laughs> I can't, but they're like, whoa, here we are. I just bumped into an old friend, which was lovely. I had a little chat on the street. It was so nice to catch up with her. So now I'm quickly rushing to Skims at the men's, we need another floor, up we go. I'm not gonna lie, having that chat was really nice it just like took away my nerves, but now I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little look around in Selfridges. Hopefully I can find a nice skims bra and then get some food. We have the bra section. Is this the one I'm after? No. Oh, these are all thin. This is not the one I had. Oh, this is very disappointing. I mean, I could always try her on though. We're gonna try the size on, see how we get on. Gap again. She fit perfectly. I was like, oh my god, this is divine. I've missed having a Skims bra. I honestly can't find anything else that's like Skims. You can get ones that look like Skims, but feel, no. So we got the goods. I'm now just gonna go down to the makeup section. Have a little bit there before it closes. I'm starving to be honest. Oh, this is so satisfying. All these like reds and nudes. I actually had a tester of a Dior lipstick before and I can't remember the shade of it, but it was like the most perfect nude for me. I'm gonna try and find it. This is the exciting section. I just feel like there's like a bit of everything here. Ooh, Fenty. Yes, please. We've got like Refi, everything. I see this tapas place, which looks so cute and wholesome. 
So we're gonna try there. This place is absolutely a yes, but first we've got some bread. It is literally so cute in here, like adorable. So, so cute, but we're gonna have a little star with some bread, just a little boil, balsamic. Then for my other bits of tapas, I got king prawns and I got some meatballs. Stunning, and I can like dip my bread in those. Oh, lovely. I had to get another plate for my dippy bread as well. <laughs> This is so nice. It's like quite weird to, well, I feel like it's quite a big thing to one vlog in public, but two, sit here and eat a meal by myself in a restaurant and vlog, it's like double, double brave. But no one cares. Like no one's looking, you know? I think as long as, as long as you're not like showing a camera, in someone's face literally no one cares no one's looking at me and if they are i can't see them so who cares <laughs> good morning <laughs> you know me i always have to end my vlogs letting you know i got home safe it's the thing right so i'm home safe it was the best time but before you go i wanted to actually open this on camera this is a clomana like beauty box i don't know what they gave us um but it was just like a little gift i think to say thank you for going and being part of the campaign i don't know what's in it so i'm excited to to open it so let's have a look also whilst i'm doing this i wanted to say one thank you so much to all of you for subscribing to my youtube channel for watching this video for like supporting me on my journey um, and just being amazing throughout this whole process of me starting my little social media makeup journey. And thank you to Chloe Mana, thank you to Chloe, who actually gave me the opportunity for doing this. I just feel so grateful to be able to be a part of this campaign. I think, as I said at the beginning, it feels so right for me and my story and my journey and just felt like the right timing and I've achieved one of my goals which I didn't think would happen until next year or the year after so it's just like blown my mind it's made me so happy I honestly feel so so grateful so yeah thank you like thank you thank you thank you thank you the universe just thank you everyone I'm just over the moon but let's have a look what's in here so I can see a little chocolate brush soap so this one is the chocolate orange scent. I'm very grateful for this. I am. But I'm not going to lie, I don't like chocolate orange. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a sniff. If I don't like it, I can just give it to one of you. Because all of you have supported me in getting here. But I'm not going to lie, Terry's chocolate orange. I can't. I can't with them. Yeah, it's giving Terry's chocolate orange. So... Thank you, Chloe Mana. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but I am going to give this to one of you. I wish I liked chocolate orange. Another thing I don't like is mint chocolate. Don't like mint chocolate. I do like um, strawberry chocolate. Like, I can... I like the smell. I'm not sure if I like to eat it or not. But flavoured chocolate, I can't do. <laughs> I'm going to give that away to one of you. I'll do that on TikTok. So, if you want to go over to my TikTok, I'll do a little giveaway with that i've also got a couple a couple of other bits which i've been saving up so maybe i'll do like a mini giveaway soon with that in and then we also got some new little marshies the little marshmallow sponges these are so cute i have so many of these literally on my desk look here this is a mini one this is the other shape the other mini shape like they're everywhere i have all at this one as well i've got so many honestly laying around <laughs> so a nice top up uh, so these are oh, these are the mini ones this is this shape i believe so i think this is a different color to these so these are super funky fresh i'm excited to pop them in my little clo mana clo mana collection they're going straight in my drawer lovely oh my god that is so cute so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already i have been up early this morning before my nine to five to edit this vlog to get it out today so hopefully you're watching real time and you've been following along from like all of my socials i'll leave them in the link below and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i've actually got a really exciting couple of weeks coming up i've got a few different things going on so i'm going to bring you along for all of that so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you next week babes bye